Welcome back to the lecture series of electromagnetic waves or field theory. Uh, in this video, I'll be discussing most important questions you can expect from module two. Uh, you can refer my previous video to get to know the most important concept and the most important questions uh, which can be expected from module one. Now let's get started the important questions from uh, module one, sorry, module two. So first and the foremost, it is always advisable to refer Gauss law. Okay, Gauss law statement, you have to go, go for mathematical equation. Then Gauss divergence theorem is also very important. In mathematics, you might have studied that. Then the potential of coaxial cable, how to calculate the potential of coaxial cable. Then continuity of current equation, then potential and potential difference. What, is the, what, what do you mean by potential? Potential difference and uh, uh, certain equations. Potential at a point due to line charges, it can be asked as a derivation. Okay, it's a derivation type. Okay. Then uh, potential field or field of a point charge that that also as a part of a derivation. The potential at a point due to line charges. You can expect those derivations along with the numerical examples. Okay. Now I'll be showing you what are the important concepts which you can expect from module uh, two. Okay. And uh, I'll be focusing on the most important concept. Kindly refer the video completely. As discussed, Gauss law is very important. What is the statement? The electric flux passing through any closed surface is equal to the total charge enclosed by the surface. That is a statement of Gauss law. Uh, there is one practical example that during the lightning and thundering, it is always uh, better to stay inside the closed conductor, like a closed car. You will be always safe. Why? Because the total potential that the like uh, the total charge that is going to be uh, in the outer covering of that particular car, not inside. Inside the potential becomes zero. I hope you understood. So there is a small derivation part. You can go through that. So Q is the total charge. Uh, then you can apply like Coulomb's law also here. Uh, now uh, DS is the electric flux density. Okay, terminology also familiar. Then uh, like uh, now the total flux delta change in flux that delta psi that is given by DS into delta S. So we can write like a cosine angle. You can take you know the vector uh, component the solution. Whenever it is we'll be taking the like a horizontal component DS uh, delta S cos theta. Okay, ultimately, uh, if you want to calculate the total flux inside that particular area that is given by uh, closed integral d dot ds, that is equal to q. Okay, also you can write like a, uh, in terms of volume, uh, rho v d, uh, rho v d, d. okay. So, uh, closed integral uh, ds, ds equal to, uh, in terms of volume, rho v d, d. So, then applications. I, found, I feel that this is a very important question, applications of Gauss law. So uh, please go through the applications. At least uh, you can expect uh, in the uh, university examination. Look at this. See, uh, consider uh, like a, a cubical shaped one. Uh, then you can compute what is the total uh, like uh, total flux. We can able to calculate. Okay. Uh, so you can use this uh, mathematical expression. Okay. So ultimately, uh, you have to follow. You have to cal uh, you can uh, calculate uh, like closed integral d dot ds. You can compute that means uh, uh, do do delta x by dx do delta y by dy do delta z by dz into delta v. Ultimately, this expression you are supposed to obtain. So another important question is actually uh, Gauss divergence theorem. What do you mean by Gauss divergence theorem? Explain Gauss divergence theorem. So we may expect okay this kind this question in the university examination explain both divergence theorem. So I have seen uh, this question uh, for many 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 examination. Okay, see right from the beginning you can go ahead with uh, like uh, earlier we derived now from that you can start uh, working on that. So uh, do x by do uh, do del x by do dx by d do x plus do dy by do y plus do dz by dz is equal to closed integral d dot ds divided by do v. So you can call it as first equation. Okay. Now what you can do is let me continue. See applying the limit. You can apply the limit. Limit to delta v tends to zero. You can go for that particular limit. Whenever you are applying the limit again, you can uh, go for the further simplification. Call it as equation number two three accordingly. So uh, correspondingly, you have to solve dou x by dou dx by dx plus dou dy by dy plus uh, dou dz by dz equal to limit dou v equal to tends to zero uh, closed integral d dot ds by dou v. Okay, so generally we'll be writing like this. Okay, uh, so uh, you can go for like a three coordinate system. Okay, the divergence theorem you can write it for three coordinates like a uh, uh, cylindrical shape, spherical coordinate, rectangular coordinate. It varies actually. So this conversion is very important. 
So I have seen these kind of questions for uh, many of the university examination and gate examination also. See these conversion you have to remember. Post divergence theorem for like the spherical coordinate, rectangular coordinate, cylindrical coordinate. That also you can expect in the examination. Kindly study the equation. That's all. Conversion also you have to remember. Next is actually Maxwell's first equation. Okay. Uh, we'll be discussing in details on Maxwell's equation in first module, for fifth module. However, you can go through the first Maxwell's first equation. It's just an application of this Gauss law. So, like from the Gauss law, you can derive the Maxwell equation. Okay. So, please uh, apply the Gauss law accordingly. Okay. Con consider the following constraints. Ultimately, I'll be getting like a dive D that is equal to rho V. Okay. This is Maxwell's first equation or point form of Gauss law. This is most important. Uh, you can expect a derive. Uh, Maxwell first equation or derive a point form of Gauss law. This is quite important. Okay. Uh, dive uh, D is equal to rho V. So you will you, be getting uh, similar kind of questions in the forthcoming examination. Vector operator and the divergence theorem. Vector operators. Okay. Uh, follow this particular equation. Mathematical expression is important. You are applying the Gauss law here. Ultimately, you will be getting closed integral D dot D is equal to uh, 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 like integral. Uh, del dot do dot dv. Okay. So this is divergence theorem, or you can call it as a ghost divergence theorem. Statement of equations of ghost divergence theorem. So that also you can expect it. They will ask like a, a state and explain ghost divergence theorem. So you can follow this equation and the simplification. Clear. So numerical example also you have to follow. Like uh, uh, flux density is given. Then find the uh, electric field intensity at R is equal to 0.2 meter. Find total electric flux uh, leaving the sphere at R is equal to 0.2 meter. Total charge within the sphere at R equal to 0.3 meter. This simple equation you can use. B is equal to epsilon E. Okay. So you have to consider the vector also. Fine. Ultimately, you will be getting this answer. Volt per meter. That is a unit of electric field intensity. Uh, charge is equal to psi. That is equal to D dot ds. Apply the Gauss divergence theorem. So you'll be getting like this, the spherical, since it's a spherical, co spherical coordinate, you can uh, follow this particular equation. Okay. That relation you have to remember. Okay. Ultimately, Q will be 0 0.0335 nanopolar. At uh, R equal to 0 0.3, you can substitute for Q is equal to 4 by 3 pi R cube. 4 by 3 pi R cube. It's a volume, right? 4 by 3 pi R cube. Then uh, second problem also you can solve in this fashion. Second problem, what was the second problem? Like find the total electric flux leaving at sphere r equal to 0 0.2. So you can go ahead with the second problem in this fashion. Okay. See, uh, write the write down the equation del dot de, uh, del dot a at t is equal to 2 minus 1 3. Okay. So elaborate it. Okay. Uh, you'll be getting like the del dot a is equal to minus 8. So this problem, similar kind of problem, I, I request you to work out one. Remember the formula, that's very important. So you need to know the conversion also, how to convert spherical to cylindrical, cylindrical to uh, like a rectangle. Like that, it is conversion you have to remember. Okay. So how to use the divergence, that a dot product here, everything you should know. Then only you can uh, manage it. Okay. This is another problem. Any problem you may get in the examination, at least you pause this particular video, try to solve this. You remember these four equations, that's quite important. Conversion also you should know. Okay. So I'll be scrolling down. You can uh, pause this particular video and work out because it's a short video. I cannot uh, complete entire uh, an entire uh, syllabus at a stretch. Okay, uh, this is a way how to uh, solve this problem. Uh, like to find the total charge in a volume defined by six phases for which uh, the limit is also given. Uh, so uh, Q is equal to closed integral D dot ds. That is a core uh, like a formula which you are supposed to apply. So basic vector. Uh, you should know how to apply the like the vector calculation, basic integration, double integration. You should know how to do the double integration. Okay. So ultimately, delta dot is equal to 93 coulomb. Okay. So like that, you have to proceed. Uh, so this is another another problem. Okay. The numerical example is given. Uh, delta dot ds. This formula you are supposed to remember. Okay. Delta dot ds is equal to double integral delta dot d dv. Okay. This formula, if you solve, you will be getting the answer. Fine. Okay. So you can uh, take care of this particular uh, point. Okay. I'll be scrolling down and you can pause this video and you can try to solve this. Okay. Similar kind of problem you can expect. Okay. Uh, systematically you have to follow. So let me know if you have any uh, queries related to this. I'll be moving on to the second part of this video. Now the second topic is energy, potential and conductance. So energy uh, uh, expected in the 
like uh, you can uh, uh, you can refer this particular thing energy expected is moving a point charge in an electric field okay so the general concept you should know okay so this formula also you have to remember then uh, line integral significance of line integral okay need for line, line integral why line integral is required so the formula uh, like uh, work done that is equal to minus q a to b e dot dl fine work done in moving from one charge from one point to another point okay so numerical example you have to remember from this you can expect the numerical example okay so how many numerical example you can expect this particular topic okay please go through this i have seen uh, this kind of numerical example in the university examination i request you to go to this calculation of potential energy okay w calculation of w so look at this what was the question given is equal to y ax plus x ay plus 2 az determine the work work done work experienced in carrying two coulomb uh, from b101 to a.8.61 along with the straight line path from b to a so work done in carrying from one one, char, uh, one uh, charge from one point to another point that is actually called uh, like uh, work done what is work done uh, like uh, we have to apply the potential uh, energy required to carry from the unit charge from one point to another point okay uh, so use these particular formulas this is actually equation for the straight line equation y2 minus uh, y y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 in, uh, into y minus y1 okay that's a formula so uh, ultimately we'll be getting the work done is equal to minus 9 96 uh, joule okay determine the work done in carrying this work done calculation of work done that's most important I, you can see uh, like most of the university examination at least one or two percent you can expect these kind of problems so refer, refer this for general formula then uh, vector vector forms okay then uh, calculation of e dot dl dot product you should know how to calculate the dot dot product then do the integration correct so those things you should know how to give the limits uh, uh, especially if it is a straight line means you can use x minus x2 divided by x1 minus x2 is equal to y minus y2 by y1 minus y2 this formula you are supposed to make out okay so those things you have to be very, very much careful two to three problems you have to work out before uh, moving on to the examination you can post this video okay then definition of potential difference and potential what is potential and a potential difference okay those things you can uh, refer uh, then one uh, important derivation potential at a point due to line charge derive a potential at a point due to line charge you can write uh, your own uh, refer uh, particular point distance you can mention okay ultimately the expression i'll be showing you you have to read expression up to this v is equal to rho l by 2 pi f0 epsilon into ln uh, r dash divided by r okay uh, so r dash what is r dash so this is r dash you can see other r, r, r also okay so you mark the particular diagram and ultimately you should reach this particular derivation this is actually very important if you are not able to go for the derivation at least you remember this formula that is that will be useful at least solving the problem then uh, potential uh, field of a point charge in general okay that's a general expression general expression will be q by 4 by epsilon 1 by rb minus 1 by r it's a quite general expression all right okay so vab is nothing but va minus vb okay or vb minus va but then uh, uh, also we can have one more equation like a q by 4 by epsilon r this is known as absolute potential what is absolute potential in the gate examination and all it will be helpful v is equal to q by 4 by epsilon r okay absolute potential at any point in on the electric field is the defined as the work done in moving a unit test charge from infinity to point against the direction of field that is called an absolute potential define absolute potential you may get a question later you can see so many numerical examples okay find the potential calculation of a potential so and uh, find out the points use the general formula okay for doing the r you can use this particular format ultimately you will be getting the potential you will get a simple question like a four marks question okay a 50 nanocoulomb uh, point charge is uh, at the origin of free, uh, free space and calculate v if the point p is located to another point also uh, calculate v at p if v is equal to zero okay uh, this also a very simple problem only q by 4 by epsilon r that is most important formula that you can expect okay that you uh, make out fine so try to work out similar kind of problem see another problem so so there are so many worked out uh, solutions are available uh, so you can uh, pause this video and you can try to solve simple formula q by 4 by epsilon very simple formula potential difference between a and b is equal to va minus vb so that means q by 4 by epsilon into 1 by ri minus 1 by rb ri and rb you have to calculate it that's all 
So next derivation is potential at a point due to line charge. Derive an expression for potential at a point due to line charge. That is another derivation. The derivation is a bit lengthy. Anyway, you can manage it. It's not a big deal. Okay. So uh, this for, use the basic formula. These are the fundamental formulas. Uh, B is equal to minus R1 to R2 E D dot DL. Negative symbol actually you are uh, bringing the unit charge from infinity against the electric field. That is why this negative symbol is uh, occupied here. Okay, so use this particular formula. Ultimately, you will be getting like a V is equal to rho L by 2 pi epsilon L and R2 by R1. That is also very simple only. It's not like a concept you have to understand. Like uh, see this, uh, like the coaxial cable uh, due to the line charge. This uh, you have to mention like this. And uh, ultimately, uh, we should get uh, V is equal to rho L by 2 pi epsilon L and R2 by R1. Uh, internal and external diameter. Those things you can mention. So uh, this this is also, this is also very important. At least uh, three questions you can expect from this particular top, uh, topic which I referred. So anyway, you find out your convenient option. Whichever you feel more con convenient, uh, go ahead with the answering. Okay, don't leave the questions. At least you can use the formula. Simple equations are available so that at least you can try the numerical example. Uh, I would like to thank you for listening me patiently. If you have any queries, kindly let me know in the comment box. I'll be reverting that. I request you to pause the video and try to solve the problems. And wherever derivations are, you practice at least a, a few uh, one or two times. Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy learning. Good luck for your exam.